Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel and today you will learn about work and travel interviews. Today we will have answers to the following questions. What type of interviews you're about to have as a work and travel participant? What type of questions you will be asked during your interviews? And what type of mistakes students often make when they are interviewing for a job? So as you know, work and travel is a U.S. Department of State designated program. It is a cultural exchange program and it gives you an opportunity to travel to the United States and work for an entry level position during your vacation time. Most of the countries come here during summer. This is the most amazing opportunity you can have to learn about American culture and to really share your culture because you guys all will be cultural ambassadors. You're gonna come to United States and everything you leave here will stay in the minds of Americans as representation of your country. So let's say if you're from Uzbekistan and maybe uh, someone from North Carolina never met Uzbeks before, when you come on a program, they get an impression of you and that's how they're gonna think of all the people from Uzbekistan in the future. So this is part of the cultural component. Once again, uh, what does it mean that it's a cultural exchange program is that it's not only work-based, so when you come to United States, you also have to uh, keep your mind open to some cultural activities going on holidays or parties or traveling or experiencing some of the American very you know basic cultural events like barbecue parties or going to museums etc but it's also a lot of fun I personally have a huge FOMO because I never participate in work and travel program but I've worked for eight years for a US sponsor organization in work and travel department and I've interviewed I mean probably like 100 students by now so I know exactly what kind of questions uh, we ask and what kind of responses are not okay so please watch this video till the end and you will find out uh, everything you need to know for an interview for a work and travel program interviews each interview gives you an opportunity to not only present yourself but also learn about the program so think about it as your chance to really get the most of it and each interview kind of prepares you to the next one the final interview the US Embassy interview is probably the most stressful one and the one that no one can control so it's good to have more more like practice in advance so the four interviews you guys are going to have will include the following some of them may not be there but this is a full list the first interview you're gonna have is with your agency they're gonna check if you're a good fit for the program if you have the right mindset if you have a high chance of getting a US visa from their experience and they're gonna give you you know some tips and answers to your questions the second interview you guys are going to have is going to be your sponsor interview. This is already far, farther along in the process when you're accepted to the program and sponsor is also going to ask you a few questions to check if you're a good fit and also check your English. The third interview you're going to have is employer interview and I will talk a little bit more in details about this later, but for employer, it's very important to know the business. And the final fourth interview is US Embassy interview. And for this one, I think I will make a separate video because this is the most challenging one. And really there's a lot to cover when it comes to US uh, Embassy interviews and getting a visa. So let's start from the very basics. First, I want to give you a few tips the very basic tips for the interview and please follow these tips if you want to be accepted on work and travel program you can also use them for any other interviews they're all very basic but trust me so many students over and over and over again make the same mistakes and even you can make one without knowing what they are let's go one by one the first thing i want to talk to you about is preparation for your interview so prior to the interview when you set a date you have to prepare for it a little bit 
case with the agency interview, you want to learn about the program, what exactly that program requires you to do, what to expect from it, so you're prepared to answer agency questions. Obviously, they will also test your English, so practice in front of a mirror, your responses, and make sure they are firm, that you sound confident, and that you are smiling and kind of uh, giving this positive feeling. The second thing that is probably one of the most important things, maybe I should have mentioned it as the first thing, is the technical difficulties that you might have during the interview. Guys, you have no idea how many times it happens over and over again. The sound isn't working, the video isn't working, the camera isn't working, the lighting is awful. This happens and then you have to reschedule and it's another stress, another time wasted for you and your sponsor and they already get a really bad impression of you. Same with the agency, same with the employer. So please, for every interview on the list that I mentioned, make sure you do have the perfect technical side of things figured out. So you want to make sure that the sound is working well, you, may, you want to make sure that, that your camera is working well, you maybe need to test to Skype call someone or to Zoom call someone to see if the app is connected to your sound systems, your headphones, etc. and then use the same settings while you are interviewing. Guys, very important small detail here. Make sure that your camera is stable. It's really annoying when someone is just looking at the camera and moving. Even if you're just holding your phone and looking at the screen, it still shakes and it gives a really bad impression to someone who's interviewing you. Just put your camera down, use a laptop or use something to stabilize your camera. That way you will look more presentable, your video will be stable and you will be able to have a very good conversation with your interviewer. How you look, meaning what you wear, your hair, maybe your makeup, please uh, make sure that you are actually looking official, put on a shirt, put on a t-shirt or a shirt with a collar. So something official, uh, not too official, but some not something very casual. Trust me, I've interviewed people in a very strange attire and it just does not look good, guys. It looks disturbing to the interviewer and it makes you really unprofessional, especially when you're interviewing for someone like a sponsor or your employer. They will make decisions based on how you look because that gives a lot of the things to figure out. Like maybe you are not responsible about your duties, you haven't prepared for the interview. This is only 15 minutes and this is your time to shine. So if you give a wrong, bad impression, the, this might affect the result of your interview. And sometimes if things are not, uh, let's say 100%, if the sponsor or agency is hesitant, should we accept you, should we not? This may play the deciding role. Yes, it's just close, but please, uh, wear something that you would wear to work that looks official, something you would take a picture on LinkedIn uh, with. So this is a very official situation too. And if you want to be taken seriously, uh, then you know, you have to present yourself that way. So the third thing I want to talk to you about is punctuality. Make sure that you are on time for the interview. Even be a few minutes before, just when connection happens, it sometimes takes a little bit of time to connect you to the interviewer. So if you're a little bit before, uh, the interview it gives you a chance to connect in time to check the sound and start the interview on time Remember that the interview also can be late So I would suggest waiting at least for 10 minutes to see if the interviewer shows up if they didn't show up Maybe there's a problem always email and follow up and ask why your interview didn't happen Maybe you had a misunderstanding about the timing or some other um, miscommunication happened so please stay there for about 10 minutes after the interview starts to see if your uh, interviewer 
is going to show up and always be on time or a few minutes before to make it to the perfect timing for the interview. So finally guys, I want to give you a few more tips and tricks for all of the interviews. These are relevant for employer, agency, sponsor interview, and even for your US uh, embassy interview. When you are presenting yourself in front of your interviewer, speak up, be a little bit maybe louder than usual because camera and your phone will kind of put the voice down. So speak up a little bit, watch your posture, sit straight, uh, sit in a comfortable chair, make sure you've had rest beforehand and you look presentable and you're in a good mood to set yourself up for a good mood practice in front of a mirror and just come with a positive uh, attitude to an interview it really helps to see someone enthusiastic about the program knowledgeable about the program and most importantly our nonverbal communication nonverbal details play a very important role when it comes to um, interviews especially when they happen online so now i'm going to go one by one and talk to you about each of the interviews and the specifics. So the first interview you're going to have is agency interview. At this step, you are just accepted to the program or you're in the process of being accepted. So please uh, prepare for the interview the same and look presentable. All the previous tips still apply. The questions that you will be asked during your agency interview will be relevant to your understanding of the program, of the culture, component to the program and of the things that might affect your US visa such as your relatives being in the US or what countries you have visited or if you have a tolerant point of view to other religions and things like that so please uh, prepare for the interview, practice these questions in advance and learn about the program and what it requires. Watch some YouTube videos of students and see if this program is really good for you. You don't want to go on a program just because it's hip, just because it's cool. You really need to understand and ask yourself, am I going to be good for this program? Am I going to take challenges? Am I going to work for an entry level position? Is this something for me? So. Please uh, practice that, make your research, and you're going to be ready for your agency interview. The second interview you're going to have is probably going to be your sponsor interview. So by then, you might already be placed to a position or about to be placed, but basically your sponsor needs to know if you're a good fit for the program. Their main uh, thing is going to be your English level, your understanding of the program, and how well you know the position, if you've read the job description, if you know the housing, if you know the location you're going through. So they will ask you questions that you answers to which you can find in your job description, in your job offer. So research your employer, find out what kind of services or goods they offer and you will be prepared for the interview. And your English really matters at this point. So once again, practice in front of a mirror. If you're hesitant about your responses, just write them down. So the basic questions you're going to ask is what is the purpose of you coming on the program? What kind of job are you going to be doing? Uh, what do you know about the employer? And what kind of cultural activities are you going to do during your program? So these are the questions that they might be asking. All right, so the pre-final interview for work and travel program is going to be your employer interview this is where you really need to learn about your job and what responsibilities you will have on your position for example if your position let's say is a housekeeper in a beach beach hotel you will need to research what exactly you will be doing uh, you know you need to tell them that you don't have like any allergies to cleaning supplies and you need to be prepared to give them full responsibility responses about what their motel is about, maybe you know some facts, maybe you've researched the history of their business. It really is important for American-based business owner 
how well you know the business. It shows how committed you will be when you come on a program and how responsible you are already about your experience and about your job. They will be waiting for you to come on a program for six months. So without hiring any American workers or someone locally. So it's important for them to know that you are just as committed as them and someone like a business owner in the US in a very competitive business environment wants to see someone prepared to do the work during a very high season. And as you know, all the work and travel participants go to uh, highly touristy places and the workers need to understand how everything works there. So the final interview you're going to have is probably going to be a US visa embassy interview and just a few tips I can give you in addition to everything else I've already covered is this is probably the most stressful interview, so please make sure you rest in advance and you kind of mentally prepare yourself to get visa approved, but also to possibly get visa denied. Uh, it happens to a lot of the students, so you have to be calm and kind of find that inner peace and respond to the question honestly don't try to be too funny don't try to be too smart don't be rude with a consulate don't do anything stupid there were cases when students did something stupid and it affected everyone like a lot of students can get visa denied because um, of that kind of situation so please remember this is an official uh, u.s kind of government inside of your government so embassies are very important the consulates are very important people and treat them accordingly so one final note I can give you is to repeat what I said earlier all of these interviews are not only for the employers agencies or sponsors it is for you a chance to learn about the program so prepare your questions usually the sponsor or the employer and the agency will ask if you have any questions for them so it's always good to ask one or two questions just don't ask too many questions you don't want to delay the interviewer sometimes they have up to 10 interviews per day and they really can't take too long with you but you still can get some information and your questions show that you are interested in learning more about the program and when it comes to for example your employer interview when you're giving out information bear in mind that you want to tell them something that would get them be interested in you so share your experience share your um, some of the challenges you've overcome some of the things that you've done like uh, accomplishments and it's not a very good idea to share your family members or how many people in your family or about your mom and dad even though these are very nice uh, personal information unless they're relevant to the program to the employer or to the job there really isn't a, a lot of space if you've traveled mention that if you worked before mention that and if you have something that would really kind of impact or be interesting to someone like a u.s employer you will feel free to mention but other than that please you know keep it focused all right so i think in this little short video i've covered everything and i hope you guys subscribe comment and share if you're interested in more cultural exchange programs please turn on notifications on the channel and thank you so much for watching and good luck see you later Bye bye